no wonder our beloved liberal elite were so terrified of Brexit, five years on and we are now staring down the barrel of a full-on crisis. If the dread warnings are right apparently it may soon become marginally more difficult to buy rock for and free. It gets worse. Chorizo, that granite-hard Spanish sausage nobody actually eats, might also be in short supply. The horror. Imagine the shame around the dinner party tables of Islington, being forced to serve only British spit, produce like Stilton or this delicious Yorkshire chorizo. Good Lord Deidre, it wasnt this bad in the war. Quick Jeeves, Fortnum and Mason tout to sweet and don't spare the horses, there's panic buying to be done. There are dark days ahead for the Islington set, to be sure. They could have been avoided of course. But that would have required the EU to act like grown-ups and plan and negotiate and agree at some point over the five years they were given to redraw relations between Brussels and a newly emancipated Great Britain. But Mr. Barnier and his cronies were much, much keener on sticking it to Britain and telling us what we couldn't do than how best we might both do things properly. Deeper, wouldn't you just know, on this side of the channel than the other. And now every UK lorry taking food to the EU carries 700 pages of new paperwork and is delayed on average 24 hours. 700 pages by the way were perfectly described by a very frustrated M&S boss Archie Norman as is about the length of three paperback novels. It suggests they are three Kafka novels that you may recall focused on the essential pointlessness of existence. I think Franz would be delighted just how perfectly the EU's 700 pages of meaningless guff make his case for him. No one has ever read a page of the 700 and no one will ever will. Of course, they don't have to, because nothing has changed, food welfare standards in Britain are precisely as high as they've ever been, which is to say slightly higher than the EU. So far, this impossibly stupid and deliberately punitive act of pen pushing has only affected produce heading from the UK to the EU. But on September 30th it will apply to goods flowing both ways. Now then, a sane mature organisation might be working night and day to set up systems to do away with red tape paperwork altogether. Such systems, tech solutions, do exist and are in use all over the world. But this is Brussels, ground zero for pen pushing, the home of red tape, where pointless bureaucracy isnt a criticism it's a job description. So instead EU exports are going to get the 700 pages treatment too. Hence the top level concerns over certain soft unpasteurized French dairy products. Mr. Norman is practically begging Boris Johnson and Ursula von der Leyen to bin the 700 pages and adopt a system of equivalence to end the red tape nightmare. It's basically a well trust you if you trust us deal with appropriate checks and balances. And very sensible and reasoned it is too. Which is precisely why the EU great and good will never buy it. Well, their loss. Remember, because of Brexit the UK economy is set to grow by almost 8% this year, dwarfing the rest of Europe. Even mighty Germany will only manage 3.5%. So I won't be crying into my Simpsons estate Chardonnay, Kent, available Waitrose, as the shelves run dry of those nastily insipid French brie, I shall simply cut myself an extra large chunk of Colston Bassett Stilton, Nottinghamshire, M&S, and tuck in.